Hello and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this time I will be going through um, quickly how Wireshark works and uh, how you can uh, read what Wireshark gives you. So, first things first, we have uh, uh, we have a uh, terminal and we have some information here that is we have some an IP address for the Kali host and we have some uh, MAC address for the Kali host. Let's open another one. We're going to need that in a moment. And we will need um, we will need to start Wireshark from the command line unless we have uh, changed the settings. So let me show you why. We start Wireshark. It looks like this on my define and then we want to listen on uh, the ETH0 which is the physical interface of the device and it gives an error because the, uh, the current user is not allowed to uh, listen on the interface like that. So we need to run this root. We use sudo for this. And now it should be happy. And it is. Awesome. So, if we do a ping of 8888, let's do, sorry, let's do one ping. We sent one ping request. Huh, that was weird. Anyway, we sent one ping request. Ping is a layer three thing where we see if we have connectivity between our device and the IP address on the other side. So 8888 would be uh, the Google DNS server, which is one we like because it is um, always up, basically. So let's uh, try to do the ping again. And you see that that would be these two ICMP pages. Actually, these two are um, related to it also. That would up um, pages are the ones that convert uh, IP addresses to MAC addresses, and we will always need to uh, use the MAC address of the router in order to leave the uh, local subnet. This is uh, something uh, the machine, our uh, current workstation, the uh, virtual machine is called. Dot 129, which is this, and the dot one is actually my host, the one that the, the hypervisor is running on. So what we see here, when I click one of these, the ping request, you actually see this nice layered thing, where we have the first part here is actually the data sent on the uh, on the wire, which is very cool. This is layer one. Uh, on layer two, we have the Ethernet part. Uh, actually the uh, data link layer where we have converted all the data here and we have source and destination MAC addresses so the destination MAC address would be where it's going and the source MAC address is where it's coming from wait something happened here ignore this for a moment and then it also uh, on the layer 2 says um, what payload do we have and then the uh, we have IP version 4 and there's a lot of information here. The most important one is the source address we are sending from ourselves and we're trying to send it to the others. And then this is something we'll get back to at some point. But the echo ping request will be uh, this, the ping request. Okay. So um, let's do it again. And we can see that we're actually sending more ping requests. I could filter on ICMP if I only want to see this. Um, apparently we have a bit of uh, noise today. Um, this is IP version 6, um, which is not in the topic of this today. So if I were to uh, ping something else, um, if I were to ping 11111, um, this is the Cloudflare DNS server, which is also nice uh, that it's always up. And um, again, some ARP requests. Um, 
which for some reason is delayed. It is in the cache, so it will probably have a refresh rate. Um, but if we limit it to ICMP, you can see that when we send from our host machine using uh, 129 and we send it to 111, this is on layer 3, this is a routing thing, and then we send it from the 5C40, the 5C40, which is the MAC address of the virtual machine, and we ship it to 9EP2, which is the uh, MAC address of the router. And we we'll look again, you actually let's click back and forth between these two. You see that it's actually only the um, the IP address that changes, and that is because in order to send something outside our subnet we must use the same MAC address, and that would be the MAC address of the router. Um, and then the router knows how to handle requests going somewhere else than our local network. Um, yes, that was a... Um, oh yeah, we could show uh, IP route also. And you see that we are using dot .2 as the router. So if I do a um, can we do a up uh, sudo uh, oh I don't remember the command um, up up dash list somehow display all yes so we see that uh, in the ARP table, that will be the translation table between uh, IP addresses and um, um, IP addresses and MAC addresses. We have the, that the dot two is the one called 9EP2, and that is actually the one we see here. And that is the one we use as the uh, gateway. So that was what I wanted to show. So. Um, Hope it was useful and uh, thank you for listening.